Matterturma Bensberg is a town in the lower Bavarian district of Kelheim, in Bavaria, Germany. Lying around 30 km southwest of Regensburg, 40 km east of Ingolstadt, 50 northwest of Lonsud and 100 km north of Munich. It is situated on the River Abens, a tributary of the Danube. The town lies on the Abens River, a tributary of the Danube, around 8 km from the river's source. The area around Abensburg is characterized by the narrow valley of the Danube, where the Weltenberg Abbey stands, the valley of the Altmühl in the north, a left tributary of the Danube, and the famous Hollertau Hops planting region in the south. The town is divided into the municipalities of Abensburg, Arnofen, Halsarlanden, Horlbach, Affenstetten, Pulak, and Sandharland. Since the administrative reforms in Bavaria in the 1970s, the town also encompasses the following ort style. There had been settlement on this part of the Abens River since long before the High Middle Ages, dating back to Neolithic times. Of particular interest and national importance are the Neolithic flint mines at Arnofen, where, around 7,000 years ago, Stone Age people made flint, which was fashioned into drills, blades and arrowheads, and was regarded as the steel of the Stone Age. Traces of over 20,000 individuals were found on this site. The modern history of Abensburg, which is often incorrectly compared with that of the 3rd century Roman Castra of Abusina, begins with Gebhard, who was the first to mention Abensburg as a town, in the middle of the 12th century. The earliest written reference to the town, under the name of Hubenspurch, came from this time, in around 1138. Gebhard was from the Bebonen clan. In 1256, the Castrum of Abensbreck was first mentioned, and on June 12, 1348, Margrave Ludwig of Brandenburg, and his brother, Duke Stephen of Bavaria, raised Abensburg to the status of a city, giving it the right to operate lower courts, enclose itself with a wall and hold markets. The wall was built by Count Ulrich III of Abensburg. Some of the 32 round towers and eight turrets are still preserved to this day. In the Middle Ages, the people of Abensburg enjoyed a level of autonomy above their lord. They elected a city council, although only a small number of rich families were eligible for election. In around 1390, the Carmelite Monastery of Our Lady of Abensburg was founded by Count John II and his wife, Agnes. Although Abensburg was an autonomous city, it remained dependent on the powerful Dukes of Bavaria. The last Lord of Abensburg, Nicholas, Graf von Abensburg, supposedly named after his godfather, Nicholas of Coos, a Catholic cardinal, was murdered in 1485 by Christopher, a Duke of Bavaria Munich. The year before, Nicholas had unchivalrously taken Christopher captive as he bathed before a tournament in Munich. Although Christopher renounced his claim for revenge, he lay in wait for Nicholas in Freising. When the latter arrived, he was killed by Zeitz von Fraunberg. He is buried in the former convent of Abensburg. Abensburg then lost its independence and became a part of the Duchy of Bavaria, and from then on was administered by a ducal official, the so-called caretaker. The castle of Abensburg was destroyed during the Thirty Years' War, although the city had bought a guarantee of protection from the Swedish general, Carl Gustav Rangel. During the War of the Spanish Succession Emperor Leopold I, who had occupied Bavaria, granted the fief of Abensburg to Count Ernst von Abensburg und Tron. From an Austrian noble family named Tron that now received the name of the former Counts of Abensburg. After the occupation ended, he was however dispossessed. Johannes Aventinius is the city's most famous son, the founder of the study of history in Bavaria. Aventinius, whose name was real name is Johann or Johannes Termer wrote the Annals of Bavaria, a valuable record of the early history of Germany and the first major written work on the subject. He is commemorated in the Valhalla Temple, a monument near Regensburg to the distinguished figures of German history. Until 1800, Abensburg was a municipality belonging to the Straubing district of the Electorate of Bavaria. Abensburg also contained a magistrate's court. In the Battle of Abensburg on 19 April 20, 1809, Napoleon gained a significant victory over the Austrians under Archduke Ludwig of Austria and General Johann von Hiller. Arms of Abensburg The arms of the city are divided into two halves. On the left are the blue and white rhombuses of Bavaria, while the right half is split into two silver and black triangles. Two diagonally crossed silver swords with golden handles rest on top. The town has had a coat of arms since 1338, that of the Counts of Abensburg. With the death of the last count, Nicholas of Abensburg, in 1485, the estates fell to the Duchy of Bavaria Munich, meaning that henceforth only the Bavarian coat of arms was ever used. On December 31, 1809, 
a decree of King Maximilian of Bavaria granted the city a new coat of arms, as a recognition of their services in the Battle of Abensburg the same year. The diagonally divided field in silver and black came from the old crest of the Counts of Abensburg, while the white and blue diamonds came from that of the House of Wittelsbach, the rulers of Bavaria. The swords recall the Battle of Abensburg. The district of Offenstetten previously possessed its own coat of arms. The area around Abensburg, the so-called sand belt between Siegburg, Neustadt and Der Donau, Abensburg, and Lankwade, is used for the intensive farming of asparagus, due to the optimal soil condition and climate. Two 12 hectares of land can produce 94 asparagus plants. Abensburg asparagus enjoys a reputation among connoisseurs as a particular delicacy. In addition to asparagus, the production of hops plays a major role locally, the region having its own label, and there are still three independent breweries in the area. The town of Abensburg marks the start of the Deutsche Hopfenstrasse, a nickname given to the Bundesstrasse 301, a German federal highway which runs through the heartland of Germany's hops growing industry, ending in Freising. The Abensburg railway station is located on the Regensburg Ingolstadt railway from Regensburg to Ingolstadt. The city can be reached via the A93 Holladau Regensburg Road. Three Bundesstrasse across south of Abensburg, B16, B299, and B301. Abensburg has a Grundschule and Hauptschule, and the Johann Termer Realschule. There is also a College of Agriculture and Home Economics. Since 2007, the Kelheim Berufsschule has had a campus in Abensburg, and outside the state sector is the street. Francis Vocational Training Center run by a Catholic youth organization. In 2008, a former goods shed by the main railway station of Abensburg was converted into a theater by local volunteers. The Theater am Bonhof is mostly used by the Theatergruppe Lampenfieber and was opened on October 19, 2008. Abensburg has a long tradition of museums. In the 19th century, Nicholas Starku and Peter Paul Dollinger began a collection based on local history. This collection and the collection of the Heimatverein were united in 1963 into the Aventinius Museum, in the cloister of the former Carmelite Monastery. On July 7, 2006, the new town museum of Abensburg was opened in the former Duke's Castle in the town. Two blocks west of the old town is the Kutschbauer Brewery and Beer Garden featuring the Kutschbauer Tower, a colorful and unconventional observation tower designed by Viennese architect Friedensreich Hundertwasser. The brewery and tower are open to the public. Up until the 1950s, Abensburg and the surrounding villages contained a number of graves of victims of a death march in the spring of 1945 from the Herzbruck sub-camp of the Dachau concentration camp, who were either murdered by the SS or died of exhaustion. They were originally buried where they died, but were later moved on the orders of the U.S. military government to the cemeteries of their previous homes. At the cemetery in what is now the district of Pulak stood a memorial stone which was mentioned as recently as 1967, but which is no longer at the site. The suffering of 10 unknown victims of the camp was recorded on the stone. Thanks for watching.